What's up YouTube? RC Cards 88 here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day and had a wonderful weekend. Um, it's been quite some time since I've ripped into anything uh, basketball related, so uh, this video is going to be ripping into a box of uh, Revolution Basketball 2018-19 uh, Chinese New Year. So this version is actually cheaper than the regular hobby box, um, the one that's not the Chinese New Year. So those will not have the Chinese New Year parallels. Um, this only cost me about a little less than $30 shipped. Um, the other hobby box will run anywhere from, I believe, $75 to $85 on eBay. But I got a really good deal on this from uh, Instagram. And we'll go a little bit more into the box in a second. But just quickly, I wanted to promote the place that I got it from. I got it from Flawless Breaks. Really cool guy. Um, gave me a really good deal. It's fun to talk to. Um, great customer service. Very responsive on Instant Messenger or DM for Instagram. But here's all of his information. Um, he was also very kind and threw in a, a personal hit as well. He asked me what I PC'd. And... I mentioned I PC former USC Trojans, especially uh, Sam Darnold. So he threw this in. I didn't even ask for it. So super nice guy. Gave me a heck of a deal and um, definitely will be doing business with him in the future. Um, so anyways, here's the box. We're going to get five cards per pack, uh, 12 packs per box. Like I mentioned, it's about a 30 to $35 price point maybe. Maybe 40 shipped. Somewhere around there, 30 and $40 on, on eBay. But um it's a lot of fun. The cards look awesome. Um, if you remember, I pulled this from Brothers and Cards. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for a Luca. Um, anything Luca is always selling very well and highly collectible. This was the Fractal, so that's what I got from Brothers and Cards a couple of months ago. And then I also got this uh, Select Trey Young uh, memorabilia, also from the last month's Brothers and Cards. So those are two of the top rookies. So those are the guys that were try and chase here so we'll see what we get and enough talking and let's start ripping so let's open this up but yeah we've got a lot of fun things in store a lot more uh football stuff is uh coming up um got a lot of fun things That'll be being opened soon, so stay tuned. Uh, apologies for not ripping anything basketball related in, in a while, so we'll get our chance here. Also, um, the hit is um, an autograph, but I believe there's only six or maybe seven in a case, and there's 12 uh, boxes in a case, so um, you know we don't know if uh, we'll get one, and the likelihood is relatively slim, but let's see if we can get lucky. Um, I think this also comes with uh, a Chinese parallel in every pack, if I remember correctly. Um, yep, find one Chinese New Year parallel per pack on average. So hopefully we get lucky and we can uh, see what we get. And maybe we'll, we'll get lucky enough to find an autograph in here too. So let's see what we get here. I think the design on these cards are also really awesome. Um, this is just a base card, but as you can see, they, they look pretty cool. So that's why I figured it would be fun to rip for, for $30. Um, Justin Jackson, and then here's your Chinese New Year parallel right here. Yusuf Nurkic. Um, it's pretty cool. You can see at the bottom, that's the parallel of the Chinese New Year. So put that off to the side. LaMarcus Aldridge and Dylan Brooks. So yeah, I believe all the Chinese New Year's have the red parallel, if I remember correctly, uh, which would make sense given um, it's the color for, for Chinese New Year. Uh, Chris Paul, CJ McCollum, and here we go. We got a Svi. So this is a rookie. That should be a New Year. Yep. And Eric Gordon and a Dirk Nowitzki, who I believe just retired. So... Be interesting to see what happens with the price of his cards. Uh, he was a heck of a player, probably a Hall of Famer, first first round Hall of Famer, I would imagine, or first time going through the Hall of Fame voting. He'll he'll get through. Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, Costas Antetokounmpo, uh, T.J. Warren. That's the New Year. Uh, Paul George and Lou Williams. 
That's the other thing too. The uh, the rookies actually sell um, pretty decently too on the uh, Revolution. So if you can get um, you know a Luca or a Trey Young, um, that's always good. Oh, really struggling with these packs. This pack in particular. Try not to ruin the cards. We have Hassan Whiteside, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and Alfred Payton. New Year, Deontay Murray, and Markel Fultz. So we're about uh, four or five packs in. We've got seven to go. We're still hopeful that maybe we get lucky and there's an autograph in here, but the likelihood is relatively small. Uh, ben Simmons, got a DeAndre Ayton. It's nice. A Gary Trent Jr., Chinese New Year rookie parallel. Otto Porter Jr., and a Willie Cauley-Stein. So, so far, I think two out of five packs have had the New Year's with a rookie card. That's what we're looking for. We've got a Damari Carroll, Donovan Mitchell, his son, Whiteside. I think we just had the base earlier. Aaron Gordon and a Russell Westbrook. But yeah, the cool thing about... Um, Revolution is the parallels. Um, if you can pull a Galactic, uh, that's a super short print. Oh, there you go. There's my guy, Steph Curry. That's PC. Jaron Jackson Jr., that's a good rookie card. Kevin Knox, New Year's Parallel, that's nice. Dion Waiters and a Miles Turner. But yeah, kind of what I was going off of is um, those uh, different parallels uh, can actually uh, go for a, a decent amount of money. And not all of them are uh, numbered parallels. Some of them are. Others, others are not. Like the Galactic, for example, is is not numbered, but still, uh, that card is pretty expensive. Uh, Zach Levine, John Collins, Tim Hardaway Jr. Green parallel for New Year's, and that's numbered out of eighty-eight. So that's cool. Uh, Joel Embiid and Joe Ingles. So I guess then what I was saying earlier about all of them being red was was not true. Um, I guess they can have uh, colored parallels as well for the Chinese New Year. So I apologize for that. See if we can pull a Luca. That would be super sweet. Uh, John Wall, Colin Sexton, a Michael Kidd Gilchrist. I believe this is just a normal New Year. Yep, not numbered. Uh, De'Aaron Fox and a Kevin Love. It'd be really interesting to see what happens with uh, free agency. I know that there was talks already of uh, the Cavs trying to trade uh, Kevin Love. A lot of crazy trades that could be out there. It'd be interesting to see what happens with uh, Kevin Durant. Kind of hoping he stays, but um, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, here's the Derrick Rose uh, New Year, not numbered. Eric Bledsoe and Victor Oladipo. Very sad what happened to him and uh, Clay Thompson in the in the playoffs. Um, obviously, being a Warriors fan, that's not exactly how you want to see the season end or you know some of your favorite players. But um, speaking of Clay Thompson, here he is. Hopefully the Warriors give him max money and he comes back because uh, we need him. He's a heck of a player. Um, here we go. We have Shy as a rookie card. We got Miles Bridges. That shouldn't be numbered. Nope. And Isaiah Thomas and Kemba Walker. So down to our last pack. See if there's any last pack mojo. Looking for a big time rookie or an autograph. So here we go. Andre Jumman, Nicholas Batum, does not look like we have it, but maybe we'll get a rookie. Uh, Gordon Haywood, Tobias Harris, and who's behind? Rudy Gobert. So let's take a quick look, do a quick little recap. Let's see here. Give me one sec while I rearrange the cards because I was also putting the rookies on the side. Rookie. Okay, so I believe these are our parallels. So here are the parallels that we got. We got a Gary Trent Jr. rookie, a Kevin Knox rookie, Tim Hardaway. This was out of, I believe, 88, 7 out of 88. 
Michael Kid Gilchrist vet, a Derrick Rose vet, a Mikel or Miles Bridges, sorry, a rookie, Rudy Gobert vet, Hassan Whiteside uh, vet, uh, Alfred Payton vet, uh, TJ Warren. I think this was actually just a. Is this a New Year parallel? It was. Um, Asfi and Yusuf Nurkic. So there you have it. That was a fun rip. You got 12 packs, 60 cards for about $30, so less than 50 cents a card. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, nothing too big or spectacular, but a lot of fun nonetheless. And just one more time, just want to give a shout out to our guy, Flawless Breaks. Go check him out. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, check him out on YouTube. Here's all of his information. Great guy. Um, he's got a lot of good stuff. Obviously, he's a breaker and sells a lot of um, uh, hobby boxes as well, um, kind of doing um, razzes. So check him out. I shot him a message, saw the razz up for a box, and figured why not just message him directly and buy one. So that's what I did. Anyways, hope you guys have a great one. Until next time, keep ripping those packs.